Hey what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to Xbox On. Now we've been playing a lot of Minecraft over on our Mixer channel, mixer.com forward slash Xbox On, and we've fallen in love with this brand new world called Skyblock. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know to get started in Minecraft Skyblock. So step number one is you're going to want to boot up Minecraft, which you can get access to via Xbox Game Pass if you've got it. And once you've booted up the game, you'll want to head over to the Minecraft Marketplace where you can use mine coins to purchase a whole load of realms and mini games. There's endless amount of things to do, but what we're gonna be focusing on in this video is the one that we've been doing on our Mixer channel, Skyblock. So head over to the marketplace at the bottom on the main menu, select marketplace, search for Skyblock, and then download Extreme Skyblock. So once you've purchased the world, what you're going to want to do is create one. So if you select create world, you then get this screen where you can name the world, you can change different game modes around it. But what we want to do is just keep everything as default uh, as we boot in. But if we kind of head over to create, it will boot up Extreme Skyblock for us to play. So for those of you that don't know what Skyblock is, it's a world where you've got floating islands in the sky with very limited resources, where if you make a mistake, you're gonna fall to your death or lose all those items that you'll need to get into the nether. So it's a nice little challenge. So once you've booted up the world, you'll start on this little mini starter island, which if you notice, there isn't really much to it. And if you fall off the edge, yeah you're going to die, which is the biggest challenge with Skyblock, uh, is it is very, very unforgiving. So you've started on this island and you want to be very careful with your first few steps. You'll want to, first of all, take down all the leaves off this tree in search of a tree sapling, which hopefully you get one or two of them as you do it, and then I've fallen off the edge and died. No! Don't do that. The thing is, this is a great example of what not to do because I've fallen off with the sapling. Now, if there are no more trees, I'm gonna have to reboot the world. Come on, sapling. If you're Leah, you'll get like two or three doing this. Is that? Oh, <laughs> let's reboot the world. Extra tip, if you don't wanna end up like that, make sure to crouch. All right, so once you've hacked all the leaves down, you'll then want to plant the sapling that you get as soon as possible. So just place it on a bit of dirt or grass so that it'll grow, because you're gonna need that wood later to be able to build more materials. So once you've managed to harvest all that wood, because you're gonna need it later, you're gonna wanna get over to the Sheep Island, which is its official name, by the way. Now, what I'd recommend to do this is to actually mine the dirt on your island. I'm sorry, but why is there not more wood under that? Be careful not to harvest your tree sapling as well. Just make sure that stays there. So we've got 20 blocks. Then what we're gonna be able to do is we'll just head straight across to the sheep island, like so, using the dirt blocks to get across. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you go over here, is go to the chest, open up, get the block of ice, which is what you're going to need for the next step of Skyblock. Uh, which is to make a cobblestone generator. So make sure you just take everything here. There's also guides and stuff if you need them to be able to help you in goals and other things that you can do uh, in Skyblock. But the most important things are the ice, the bucket, and then the obsidian. Another huge tip I would give, because I am the biggest culprit for this alive, there is not one person I've met, actually there's probably a few, that seem to fall off the edge of important items. So when you're not using something, a big bit of advice I can give you is just store it in a chest, right? If you're not using it, put it in a chest and it's safe um, as long as you don't break and destroy the chest. So just leave it there. Then what you're gonna wanna do is head over here to make the cobblestone generator. For the cobblestone generator, what you're going to need to do is you've got a bucket, so you can pick, you can pick the lava up just to be safe, uh, but you need to make a space which is four by one. So what I do, hop here, knock this down. You don't need the sign there either. So this is the four by one. The water is gonna go here, the lava will go here, and then it will meet. So if you dig straight down there, which is gonna be the important part, you're going to then need to use the dirt that you've collected to you know, just make a nice, nice little space so it doesn't all disappear, uh, which is quite important as well. So four by one, straight across there. So once you put the ice down there, you can then put the lava there once again. So this is where the cobblestone's gonna be made. We then, the moment of truth, this is always the most nervous bit of the entire creation of a skyblock world, is if your first cobblestone generator works. And yeah, there we go, it works. So 
Next step is we're going to need a pickaxe. So to get the pickaxe, you'll want to go back to your chest to get your wood. So how much wood can a woodchuck chuck? Uh, get, I'll take that stick as well, you know, because we, we need it. We need, oh, look, and my tree, my, oh, my, my tree is built. Wow, that was actually a fast growing tree. I'm not going to lie. Change all your, uh, your wood into oak wood planks. You can then make yourself a crafting table and then you're going to need some sticks as well um, to make that very first pickaxe. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our crafting table down here. We're going to then use it to get ourselves our very first wooden pickaxe. Now I'd only advise making one wooden pickaxe because you're going to want a stone pickaxe to be able to be the most efficient. So we're going to just mine ourselves some cobblestone. No! So you may know it. Are oh, you stupid sheep? I can't deal with it. Oh, can I kill the sheep? Do we need him? You may have noticed our cobblestone generator failed because water flows faster than lava. So you're going to want to make sure that the ice is next to the drop uh, to kind of slow the water flow down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the lava down at this end, then break the ice for the cobblestone to be made. So now whenever the cobblestone's broken, it will flow and kind of not make obsidian. So what you're next going to want to do is make a workbench. So to do that, you can just head straight over. You'll need wooden planks, turn your wood into wooden planks, get some sticks for a pickaxe and then also a crafting table to make it. So if we put that down, we're gonna use this to make one wooden pickaxe because you're going to wanna use a stone pickaxe more often because you'll be able to mine quicker from the cobblestone. So we're then gonna mine ourselves some cobblestone. If we just wait, this is now an infinite cobblestone generator. So as long as this is here, you're just gonna be able to mine for as long as you want. One hour later. Now, the reason you're gonna want this cobblestone generator is for a few reasons. First of all is so you can make stone pickaxes, which are gonna be far more efficient at mining cobblestone and helping you in the sky world. And so you can make stone slabs. Now, stone slabs are going to allow you to make the most blocks to help traverse the world in as fewest resources as possible. So we've now got, we've got, we've got 12 cobblestone. So with that 12 cobblestone, I'm gonna make myself a stone pickaxe uh, to use. And then we're also going to make ourselves some stone cobblestone slabs. So if you notice from a small amount of cobblestone, we've got a lot of slabs, which you can then use to head to different areas. For example, once again, remember, put stuff that you don't need into a chest so you don't lose it if something goes wrong. Uh, but if we use our cobblestone slabs, we can get across any island that you see in the world, you're gonna wanna use cobblestone slabs to get towards, uh, to help progress and get yourself to the nether. And what you'll notice is a skeleton with a bow. So you gotta be really careful. So when you're building towards him, you can head straight towards him. He is gonna hit you, but just face him. Don't be off at any angles. Try and avoid the arrows if you can. You can do a long route round here, but I personally like doing this like front forward route, which has worked for me. Just make sure he's hitting you dead on so that when you get to him, you can punch him off. Here we go, here we go. Boom. There we go, and he's gone. Survived, it's okay. And then this is the next step, which also, it's another chest here for you to have, which has got another jungle sapling uh, for you to plant another tree. There's another sheep. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you may have noticed that there is actually an island underneath this one. So you may be wondering how to get there. Well, what you can do is make a water elevator. So if you hit this with your stone pickaxe, or head down. Ooh, I'm always nervous doing this. Oh no, I'm going to drown. Go drown. I've not got much health. Oh no. Okay, we're just going to wait for a second, and here we go. Mine, mine, mine away, mine away, hey. Right, so what you can now do is use this as an elevator down to the island. Be careful though, because ooh, you could miss it and then go off. So remember when you're on this island, crouch to mine so you don't fall off the edge. Do this and there is another chest on this little island down below. Mine, 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 mine. And then there's another piece of obsidian down here, which is what you're gonna need to be able to get to the nether later on in the world. So once you've done that, you can hop back into your elevator, hold A to go all the way up. And then what I personally do is I always try and block it back up again, um, just so you can get back to, to mining your cobblestone. 
Uh, so another thing that you might want to do is take everything out of the chest, mine it, and then put it on your starter island so everything's in one place. You can also take chests from all around. So if you see this one over here, you can also take this so you can use it and kind of have a lot of space to stock all your resources. Though sometimes it'll fly off the edge and then you'll be, uh... oh. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So risk in Skyblock. One thing you might want to do is if you're making a tree farm is to kind of like a make a three by three of cobblestone, mine out the middle uh, and put a piece of dirt in the middle here. So if we've got a little bit of dirt, we'll put that there. So put the dirt in the middle and then put your tree sapling on there. It's one of the most efficient ways to kind of grow a tree and also have the space uh, around it. So it can have all the leaves and it's not going to fall off the edge, which is exactly uh, what you want. And then we're going to put our chest next to next to our workbench so it's easy access make sure once again make sure all that important stuff that you're not using is in that chest so you don't lose it so there we have it that is our skyblock world on xbox minecraft it's a lot of fun to play and remember if you and your friends have xbox game pass as well you can all play together on skyblock uh, also there's an amazing thing with crossplay. so if one of your friends is on pc and you're playing on xbox you can still play together which is amazing do make sure let us know what you think down in the comments below and if you are new to the channel subscribe for more xbox content we've got so much stuff coming up including minecraft dungeons which is going to be really exciting uh, smash the thumbs up button we'll see you next time bye